living with a three ton US pickup truck in the UK. This is different because it's a similar, if not a little bit smaller than my truck. So this is gonna give me a good feel for the size of your traffic conditions, if it's even feasible, because this answers the question, I hope. And I'm gonna be sharing this video with all my friends that have trucks, because that is just a great question to ask. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. All right, three, two, one, let's just dive into it. People are staring at me like I'm mad driving around here. That's it. This is a 1,000 horsepower Hennessy Mammoth, and I'm gonna use it to see what it's like to live with a huge, high-performance American pickup truck in the UK. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Buy, sell, car, wow! A sleepy, quiet English village probably isn't the ideal place to be driving this big, gas-guzzling 1,000... <laughs> why, does he, why does he have Texas plates? Why does he have Texas plates? Oh God, oh my God, I love that. <laughs> I love that, Texas plates, of course. And horsepower, American pickup truck, but let's see how we get on. Okay, so here's the first obstacle. I wanna go right oh, up here. Um, this could be chaos. Wait a minute, he's driving on the American side of the vehicle. It's not on the right, it's on the left. That's cool. So it's just, they, they took the truck from here and they just shipped it. No mods or anything like that how much did that cost how much does this truck cost over there that's what i want to know all right here we go it's now definitely going to be chaos oh my god oh you see you should have waited impatience is not good okay so this is not easy they're like oh, with restrictors uh. okay got through there uh, oh yeah now we're going down a very narrow bit here. Thankfully, I have priority. Ah, van man, you must wait. Ooh. I've never seen a white van reverse up to let you pass before. They don't normally do it. Okay, I need to go right here, which is not gonna be easy. Might have to just, come on, can you get past? Come on. Right, here comes a three point turn. It's gonna have to be. Oh my God. Sorry everybody. Thankfully, I've got a reversing camera. Oh my God, dude. Oh dear. Right, here's someone in a Range Rover, probably used to like people giving way, but they're gonna have to give away this time. Sorry. So oh, this right is a bit there. tricky. <laughs> oh my God. The surrounding area, right, wherever he is, makes his truck look more massive. Like straight up, something out of Gulliver's Travels, guys. Like everything else, like all the other cars are smaller, you know, because out of necessity, right? This thing is just so over the top over there. Oh my God. <laughs> and I would say this, I hear the beeping and he, he mentioned that um, he has a backup camera. That is, that's the one thing that I would say it's a necessity over there in cities in cities you know all right oh my god that's crazy like i love how i love how like he got that he got like you're behind the truck the white van's backing up <laughs> he doesn't want any beef with that thing and the land rover the bigger one is like oh what is this monster this yellow freaking hulk of a bumblebee coming at me let me get out of the way I mean, I would back up if I just saw Texas plates. So I'd be like, all right, I'm out of here. It's fucking crazy. All right. <laughs> uh, Thank God for the sensors. Oh, hello. Um, might have to just go up the cub a little bit. Oh, this is not going to be easy. Bit. Oh, this is so hard. People are staring at me like I'm mad driving around here. I think they're right. Can I get around here without hitting one of the pub benches? Oh, he's risky, road? he's shaking his head at me like I'm mad. Oh, he's not happy. He's not happy about me having this. Just, e oh, just got to ease out. Sorry, sorry about that. Please forgive me. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. See, the Americans don't do this. It's very British to be going sorry, sorry, sorry the whole time. Done. Ah, oh, 
survived without any scrapes. Now I think I'm gonna go to the retail park. It's very American. Oh no, I'm running low on fuel. I need to go and fill up with petrol. Sorry, not petrol, gas. Why do they call it gas? It's not gas, it's a liquid. Anyway, gas let's go oil. fill up. Gas. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Oh excuse God. me. Oh, this is gonna be bloody awkward, this is. I have to do about a million maneuvers. Oh, come on. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> look at that. It's like, okay. It looks massive. Here we go. Don't think the guy behind is going to get past me. He's, what is he, what are you right. doing, dude? Hopefully this isn't going to be too expensive. Let's find out. Come on then. Got a feeling this is going to hurt. Sorry, it's a guy behind, I've trapped in. He doesn't realize how long this could take. Sorry. The people wedged in between me and the van are very cross. However, the guy in the van could reverse up, but I think he's enjoying the drama too much. Oh my God, we're already well over a hundred pounds. In fact, it's 120 and it's still going. How big is this tank? I'm paying 182.9 pence per litre. And the Americans moan about their gas prices. They should come live here. Oh, this is insane. Is this gonna break the 200 pound barrier? I've never put more than 200 pounds in a car. Right, I think we're done. It has stopped at 101 litres and over 180 pounds. Now, I've got to pay. I'm not gonna enjoy this bit. Oh my God, hold on. Let me, let me do some research here. 113.5 liters. That's what a 30 gallon tank. That's what I, that's what my truck is. So 113.5 liters. All right. And that lasts about a day. So, wow. See you in a bit. I need to call my bag first. Some time later. Turns out that actually this had a cut off. So it's not full yet. Cut off at just over 100 litres. I've got to go again. If you get him to reverse up, you can get out. Okay. Oh, they're getting really mad now behind. I can't blame them. I'm going to be the most hated person at this Tesco forecourt. Still going. Yeah, look, here we go. That's it. It's full. I've got the clicks. Finally. Go as quick as I can before the people behind me kill me. Okay, right, better go pay for the other bit in here. They're getting annoyed behind. Okay, so here we go. 184 pounds and another 27 pounds. So that's over 200 quid. I better get going because they're going to kill me. Wow. I'm going now, sorry. Sorry about that. I'm really sorry. Oh dear. Look at that thing. Oh gosh. Oh, they hate me. They hate me and I can't blame them. Oh my God, here we go, let's get out of here. That was very expensive, the most I've ever put in a vehicle. That is the American dream. I think they've had an American nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Right, I've got my fuel, <laughs> but my truck's a bit dirty, so I'm gonna give it a clean. There's no way I'll fit in one of those automated car washers. This is yeah, just no. too big, so I'm gonna have to jet wash it. Thankfully, there's enough room in this bay. Just. Annoyingly, I'm low on cash now after paying for all that fuel, so I can only do the minimum bend on this. So I'm gonna have to be super quick trying to get this done. So, all right. In the comments, let me know how much did he just pay? How much did he just pay to fill up that truck? That, Cause that's, it said 200, 200, it said 200 pounds? What? All right, hold on. I can just do it right here. This is what we do here. Oh, so 200, wow, $243. Damn, oh. <laughs> gotta be a millionaire to have one of those trucks over there. So minimum vend is two pounds. That's all I'm gonna do. Doesn't seem like this accepts Amex. Thankfully, when you got one of these, you need to make sure you've got a few bank accounts to pay for everything. So let's try this one. That worked. Here we go. Gotta be quick. Oh, I never, never shut that properly. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
It's so big. It's just so big. Not the best job. Uh, oh. I'm gonna work out doing this. I've just got two minutes left. Come on, try and get it clean. How do I get the roof? I suppose I could climb on the low bed, but I don't have time. <laughs> I've totally got this. The roof's just going to have to be partially done. Oh, no. No. Ten seconds! Oh, God! No! Ah! Wow. That's it. My cash. I I would say this. I would say this. If if you were to own this truck over there, you probably have the space to wash this at your house. I hope. I hope. Unless you're living out of this thing, which you could do, is big enough. Now this truck that he has on the screen is like over here, maybe brand new. It's like seventy, maybe seventy thousand dollars. So I don't know what that that cost over there probably 130 maybe 130 probably to buy it over there maybe more I don't know I'm not even sure and then the upkeep upkeep would be you'd have to have a whole new mechanic whole different kind of mechanic to lift that thing up to do repairs and stuff Wow uh, I'll finish off at home Okay, um, so that's done. It's not ideal. Um, <laughs> I guess I can finish it off with this. There we go, look! Absolutely fine. You know what, all that running around has made me peckish. I think I need some food. Oh yeah, let's go find something to eat. Ah, perfect! The Golden Arches! Let's have a drive through McDonald's. A very American meal in a very American vehicle. Now, oh, wait a minute, this is a bit tight. Well, not if you're in a normal car. Oh this is going to be a struggle God. to get through here, so I'm going to have to deploy my optional helper. <laughs> it's really handy to get you through tight spots. It's only available, this upgrade, in the UK for obvious reasons. You don't need it in the States. There he <laughs> yeah. goes, he's been deployed. Hopefully he's got the alloy wheel protection system built in. Here we go. Almost there. Oh, gosh. This is American, so it's left-hand drive. The drive throughs are set up for right-hand drive. Um, <laughs> Where's the bloody window? Hello? Hi, is everything alright? Everything's fine, as long as I can get a breakfast bacon roll, please. Would you like ketchup or brown sauce with that? Um, I'd like brown sauce. Good choice. Yeah. Anything else? No, that's it, thanks. Bab, when you're over, you just want to continue around for me. Okay, see you shortly. Take care. Uh, I need to take care because this is so big. <clears throat> okay. Went for brown sauce because it's very... The first thing, first thing I would do if I was over there in that situation, I would bring the mirrors in so the truck has a little bit smaller of a profile. Very, very British. You don't get that in America. <laughs> Thankfully, this drive through is reasonably wide. Yeah. Doesn't matter if you go up the curb in this because it's got 37 inch tyres. This is the bit I'm slightly worried about. What are you doing, bud? Come on, get round. I've literally no idea where the edges of this vehicle are. <laughs> oh, what are you, you're so I've just far driven away. past the bloody window. Who are you? What are you talking about? Here we go again. All right. Another criticism, real quick. This, my dude is so far away. You pull up, pull back, because it looks like no one's around him, right? When you own this size of a truck, there's there's limitations, even here, there's limitations. Like going through a, a bank in a, like a drive-through, 
you can't fit in that spot. So you just go in and that's just kind of like you accept it. Okay, that's the price you pay of having a truck. You can't fit into different, you can't fit into certain spaces or you shouldn't think that you can fit into certain spaces. All right. So I get it. I get it. But yeah, man, that, that, that to me is very frustrating. Hello. I've come to get my so breakfast cool, roll with brown yeah. sauce. That's it. Yeah, Can I pay? Thank you. Next window. Next window. Another window. <laughs> yeah, of course. Okay. Right. Here we go again. <laughs> Oh, oh God. Right. He's heard. He's Don't want that beeping at me. Safety first, everybody. Oh. Uh, here we go. Oh, I've done it again! I'm too busy watching my spotter that I'm missing the windows. Oh, there's someone behind me. Oh, my God. Hello. Hiya. Oh, sorry about this. Just bear with me. That's it. That oh. oh. All right, thank you very much. Have a good day. Oh. <laughs> Tell you what, this is going to be guilt-free breakfast because I reckon I've burnt off all the calories that's in this. Just blooming getting it. Let's park up and find somewhere to enjoy my food. Oh, here we go. And now all I need to do is get my spotter back on board. Come on. Before I go <laughs> yeah, eat, I need to just pick up an essential item which I forgot to buy. So, I just find myself a parking space. Oh, oh. Here we go. Yeah. This will do it. Yeah. I guess that I'll have to do. A few moments later. <laughs> <laughs> that should be fine in there. Oh dear, I, I read a notice that says you get a fine if you don't park properly in the bays, but I'm not too worried because where are they going to send the fine to? Texas. <laughs> Let's head back. I've had enough of this. It's too stressful. Whew, this is sketchy around here. Blind corners. Wide vehicle, I hope no one's going quick the other way. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Passing lorries on country roads when you're on the wrong side of the car is not fun. Oops. Oh my God, what are you doing, my dear? Due to the weight of this truck, I can only do 60 miles an hour on a piece of dual carriageway in the UK. On the motor, I can do 70, but dual carriageway, 60. Whereas a car would be able to do 70. One of the other drawbacks. I hope my plant's all right in the back. What are you doing there? I can't really see it. I'm sure it's fine. Oh dear, that's a little bit of a mess. And so too is trying to drive around a big American pickup truck in Britain. You know, our roads are just too narrow for them. I love them out in the US when you've got these wide, wide roads, but here, not so much. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Guys that was awesome that was glorious car wow man that, you get my two thumbs up that was awesome i needed that i needed this video to exist what listen for us trucks serve such a massive purpose moving stuff all, all, we have bigger roads we can accommodate massive trucks on our roads even in our little side side roads they're they're pretty big and if anything once in a while, you'll be able and you can go off road. You can have a tire go off road. It's not the end of the world because your truck is huge. But yeah, yeah, I feel like this truck, if you're in a city, don't get this truck. This is definitely the country estate. If you're on like farm, 100%. But you're not towing stuff. You're not hauling stuff. But anyway, guys, listen, let me know what you think. Let's let's start a conversation in the in the in the comment section. 
ask me questions about the truck, buy all this stuff. I got you. I'm gonna be watching the comment section on this one. Fellas, we could be that mistake. Let's do this.